Good afternoon, everybody. Alexa, I'm here with Chris, and we're here to highlight today one of the most exquisite, in my opinion, parts of Florida, Tierra Verde. Um, go ahead, Chris. I know you know a lot about this place, and actually probably, you know, you used to call this place home. That's right. That's right. I lived in Tierra Verde for a while. I loved it. Not only is it great for boating, uh, going to the beaches, but it also has some of the best dining around. And actually, this island, uh, going back to 1500, was discovered by uh, Spanish sailors. They landed here, and since then, it's grown into one of the uh, most wealthy areas in Pinellas County. That's right. I think the, the most expensive home in Pinellas County right now, it currently sits on Tierra Verde, and it's listed at $14 million. But don't let that scare you, because we there's a variety of homes here from condos, uh, single family homes, uh, townhomes, condo hotels, and the, the lowest price range we have right now is around 200,000. So we can still make your dreams come true. And you probably wouldn't even be spending too much time in that condo because you'd be going to beautiful beaches like Fort DeSoto. Mm -hmm. um, you'd be doing some kayaking. You'd be going um, to a lot of the uh, art areas that we have. It's close to downtown St. Pete. Yeah. You go to Salvador Dali. Speaking of Fort DeSoto, I love to bring my dog there. It's uh, a, a national park where, you know, they really emphasize, like you said, camping, hiking, kayaking, uh, just kind of, you know, to go down there and have the chance to unplug and be with nature, which is, which is so beautiful about this area. And like you said, it's only 10, 15 minutes from downtown, so you can get that city, city life as well. Uh, without going too far. Here are some of the boats that you see. They're very beautiful. But as you can see, there's all types of boats. That's right. You can have a slot for your 50-foot yacht, or you can get a little uh, boat slip for your 20-foot pontoon boat. So yeah. everyone's welcome here in this boating community. That's correct. That is correct. And if you have a small plane, you can always fly in and out of Albert Whitted Airport in downtown St. Pete, which is only 20 minutes away as well. And I wonder how you know that. Well, actually, I help uh, people buy airplanes if they're interested, and also help them get in touch with charter brokers so they can charter if they're interested. So they can fly their airplane and land on their on their boat on their boat. Not on the boat, but oh. <laughs> maybe if they had a helicopter pad and it was ah. a yacht, yes. But they can fly their plane, land in St. Pete, and right. then come get on their boat. Well, Terry, enough of us talking. I mean, I'm sure we're boring you by now. But let's focus on this amazing and superb view that we could look right over here. Let's close it out. Have a good afternoon, everybody. All right, guys.